very good morning. I'm oh, sorry, a very good evening. Uh, I must say, uh, uh, welcome to another closing bell for week ending uh, November 1st, 2013. Uh, a little bit of apologies today. I'm not able to do the Friday closing bell. I was kind of tied up this morning. Actually, I was up in Genting Highland, right, uh, over the, uh, last night uh, for some event. And as usual, uh, we always want to check out the thing. Made a bit of money today. Um, as a matter of fact, do you know I actually have a VSA method for playing Baccarat? All right. And uh, make some money too. It's the same system that we actually use in, in uh, how we do on the stock pick. Do you, do you all want to know how I do that? The VSA method for playing Baccarat, volume spread analysis. You have more chance of winning than losing. It's not a full guarantee system, of course, yeah. But you win more than you lose. Okay, would you like to know that? Okay. Ah, yes, I'm Mr. One. Good. Unfortunately, Mr. One, when I see you next time, I'll tell you, okay? But for those of you who don't know, I won't tell you now, but I won't keep the suspense there. And if you come for next Saturday main course, I'll share with you doing it because we've got more time. We've got three days there. And I'd like to share you my methods of uh, playing it. You know, you, 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 you win six or seven times most of the time anyway. It's not that difficult uh, thing, but you must be patient, just like VSA. Uh, remind me, okay, Carol, if you're coming, those of you are Mr. E. Yes, Mr. E. Okay. Uh, how? Ah, uh, Miss Tang, when I see you again, I'll review back your portfolio. I'll share with you. Lah. I think I've, I've shared this with you some time back ago. And uh, every time I go up the Genting, I always try this method. And um, I win more than lose. Lah. I even tried it in Philippines when I was up in uh, Manila too. Also make money too. Apparently it works no? all over the world system. I never tried in Macau yet. Maybe if I do visit Macau, I'll try this method, the VSA method. For, but it works very good for Baccarat. Okay, you have play Baccarat, you shouldn't play other games because Baccarat has the best uh, odds uh, in your favor, not against you. Okay, so I um, uh, apologize for that. Uh, that's a bit of a uh, diversion, but it's good. Huh? Just get a bit of fun in life when you make money from the stock market and then you go up to, uh, to the casino, right? So that, I suppose that's how you live your life. How many of you agree to that? Okay. Now, uh, going back to my notes, uh, the closing bell last week for 25th of October, uh, market was uh, 1870, now it's 1808. Um, what I've said for last uh, Friday, I said it's going to be tough making money as, as we have, you know, our market is highly uh, well value. Uh, we have broken a new high, but very important uh, at this junction, we saw this uh, broken new high on the 23rd. It's very important we don't see any sell off uh, to 1800 level. In here. Although today we did have a uh, testing of the low. What was the low today? Uh? Let me just check and see. Uh, 1804, higher 1815. Uh, that's future, sorry. Uh, 1803, market closed back up 1808. So we are getting support from institutional, whatever you call it, you know, smart money. They, they are supporting this market here. This tail always seems to bother me in here. Um, market continued. Uh, must rally, as I said before, it's very important at this point, the longer term must rally uh, because a lot of the local institutions are holding the, the stock now as it is. If you look in terms of the foreign funds flows, I will show you that, uh, that we have after this, that a lot of the foreign funds are net seller into this uh, strength that we see in here. Call it strength by the media definition, but from a VSA, it may be uh, some sort of hidden potential, uh, so hidden potential selling, okay. But we don't know yet, we need confirmation. Now, looking at the weekly chart, you can see that it is, you know, really struggling trying to uh, uh, break above this. This is, oh, this is a monthly chart. Let me switch to a week daily chart. Okay, that was what I should be talking about. Now, you can see this, this is really struggling it. But from a pure uh, uh, Y-Cov, it is a pure 18-day line change, uh, which is a commodity trading. And the other day, I was, you know, revising my notes for next Saturday, our main course. And people saying that the 18-day line chain, it is a, a, a commodity method, but we find out that this is a, one of the best method to, to work in this Malaysian market, as well as SGX, as you can see. Uh, we will be doing a special webinar next Wednesday. All of you are welcome to, to attend, especially our premium members there. Like members can come, but they're not able to catch up because all this is what we do, be reviewing at the last six to eight months, uh, all the stock picks that we have done and, and see uh, you know, generally how they perform the number of uh, losers versus winners. So there's been a, a flavor of what we'll be doing next Wednesday. It's going to be a short 45 minutes, a prequel to the Master the Market main course. We'll make it a bit fun. And we make it a bit of joyful so everybody make money in that uh, session over there. All right.
So is that okay? Okay, going forward in here, as I said before, broke to a new high in here very nicely. Uh, not too big concern on a weekly basis as it is still pointing uh, a lot more to the upside. Okay, um, okay, uh, that's on a weekly basis. Now on the FBM uh, 70, which is actually focused on the small and mid cap stock, we, we do see a gradual what we call mushrooming top from 14,400 in there. But again, there is still a lot of support around 14,200, 14,300, which is not really much of concern. Now, what is hidden from the FBN 70 is actually the volume because it is just a weighted sort of based on price. They don't have that. It's not purely traded. So it's kind of difficult to see it from the Wyckoff standpoint, BSA standpoint. So that's what we're seeing, a gradual mushroom. Nothing to be concerned of. Uh, I know uh, a lot of media uh, did call up. As a matter of fact, a funny incident happened, uh, I think I think two days ago. Uh, a, a lady called me Miss Chu and then called me up and asked me about my market outlook. And I told her, look, I'm writing my November stock market comment. You should check it out in there, but it's not finished. But I said, what is it? No, what, what do you think? The market can go higher or lower? I said, read it now. I mean, it's not that difficult. I said, Miss Chu, aren't you coming for a main course, the Miss Chu that I know? No, 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 no. I'm a journalist from Sing Chu. <laughs> so isn't that funny? <laughs> So she's saying that, that she's actually a, a journalist from Sing Chu and not a Miss Chu who's coming from my main course. Because I do